Overall temperatures uh, running very close to where they were yesterday at this time. So take advantage of it if it has dropped a little bit at your house. In Salt Lake, it's 77. It's 20 degrees lower than that in Park City at 57. And then uh, you're in the low 70s right now in Green River as well as in St. George. Pretty quiet morning across most of the state. A few showers over the south central Kane County. Some of that rain coming down near Big Water. So that's the trouble spot right now. But we'll have a lot more this afternoon. That's because that deep Deep monsoonal moisture is still pooled over much of the southern half of the state, but it's making its way even farther north, so uh, we'll get a chance of more widespread thunderstorms today. But it still looks like the best chance of the heaviest rain out of the storms would be over uh, southern Utah. Good could be the case in the uh, northeast corner of the state as well. The flash flood potential for most of the national parks and recreation areas is still probable today, and we do have a flood watch in effect for much of the south until uh, later this evening. So just be prepared this afternoon. The storms are going to fire up again. And in Salt Lake, it'll stay hot. We'll make it up to 100. Still running about 5 degrees above normal for this time of year, but not quite into record territory. Upper 90s in Logan and Wendover. You'll be in the mid 80s in Price this afternoon, 98 in St. George. And in general, partly cloudy, slight chance of thunderstorms in the north, which would mainly bring gusty winds if they develop because it is so dry at the surface. Uh, but over uh, eastern and southern Utah, that's where we'll get the better chance of some of those rain showers developing. And if they do pop up, that's what will keep the temperature uh, pretty mild for this time of year. In fact, only in the upper 90s in St. George. And it'll stay that way for the next couple of days, drying out a little over the weekend so thunderstorms won't be as likely, but uh, they're still possible. And in northern Utah, we'll still have a slight chance of a few thunderstorms tomorrow, but as dry air moves back in, those wind down pretty quickly in the evening. This weekend looks good. It'll be sunny but baking hot. Temperature will still be hovering near 100. And then next week, we'll get a better chance of more moisture moving in that'll bring a better chance of more widespread showers and thunderstorms.